In the currency quadrant today, looking at a March British pound future that was lower on the day, but overall still remains very, very strong when you look at it from a 30,000 foot view. We were down on the day only about 12 basis points in toward the close. On the lows at one spot, 3662, that was down about a half a percent. Up at 13762, we were up about 20 basis points. But being down on the day, the pound is still holding up well, up near its recent highs, still up 28% on the week, up three straight weeks so far. I and mean, there's a few days left in this week, obviously. And if it were to stay there, we would end up up six of the last seven weeks. So a very strong pound based as much on strong data as anything. You look at the jobless, or I'm sorry, the employment figures that came out yesterday for the UK, 88,000 jobs lost, but that was versus an expectation of 100,000 jobs lost and a last figure of 144,000 jobs lost. The claimant count was all the way down to 7,000 and the unemployment rate came in at 5%. Now granted it was 4.9% last month, but it was expected to jump to 5.1%. So on basically every metric, the pound or the data rather in the UK was stronger and that helped strengthen the pound along the way. Yesterday we had a pretty good up move in the pound save for today's 12 basis points lower. Also, as you notice by the difference between our settlement today and the lows, we came off of the lows today in toward the end of the day. And we did have an FOMC meeting. Obviously, you have to look at the dollar when you're looking at major foreign currencies that trade against the dollar. And the dollar will determine the short-term path for the pound because major data is not coming until next week. And the pound was really unchanged to slightly stronger after the FOMC meeting the dollar was actually ever so slightly weaker, which would help obviously push the pound a little bit higher. The Fed left short-term rates unchanged here in the U.S. and left their spending uh, on assets, their asset purchase program, at about $120 billion a month. So no real extra movement by the Fed. They did talk about growth moderating in recent months, and then they discussed fiscal stimulus, which they said has been consistent uh, but they didn't, they weren't willing to comment on further fiscal stimulus. Just the fact that it was being discussed seemed to imply that they might like to see more, at least they expected more. So that moved the pound to be a little bit stronger in toward the end of the day. It was down about a quarter of a percent prior to the FOMC meeting, ended the day down about 12 basis points.